This weekend at Laurel Racecourse is a stakes race fittingly named for perhaps one of the most famous horses ever to come from the state of Maryland. Nicknamed the Grey Ghost, Native Dancer was an almost instant media sensation, not only for his dashing looks, but also for his tremendous record on the racetrack, one that saw him be a head away from a triple crown. Sired by Polynesian and out of the Discovery Mare Geisha, Native Dancer was foaled in 1950 at the famous Sagamore Farm owned by Alfred G. Vanderbilt. Owned by Vanderbilt and trained by William Winfrey, this handsome gray colt made his mark almost instantly on the racetrack, completing an undefeated season with seven of those nine wins coming in stakes races such as the prestigious Hopeful Stakes, Youthful Stakes, Saratoga Special, and Flash. He was a lock for two-year-old of the year, and was even voted horse of the year in two of the three voting blocks who decided the awards then, with only the Daily Racing Forum giving the honors to one count. More importantly, he created national buzz in the racing and media world as he looked to be the next big superstar in the Triple Crown series the following year. In the lead-up to that 1953 derby, Native Dancer did not disappoint. Continuing his unbeaten streak and winning such important prep races as the Gotham and the Wood Memorial. He walked into that starting gate the heavy favorite on that first Saturday in May, when, well, the crowd of 100,000 was just a touch different than the crowd we see at today's derbies. A dark star casted a shadow on this sunny derby day, however, as Dark Star just held on by a head after Native Dancer encountered all sorts of traffic trouble in the first turn, and had a ride that one disgruntled member of the press said took him everywhere on that track but the ladies' room. Disappointed with the loss, but not discouraged, his connections pointed him for the second jewel of the Triple Crown, the Preakness. Made an even heavier favorite in his home state, the gray ghost of Sagamore did not disappoint his adoring fans this time, gamely hanging on in the stretch to win the Preakness over a hard-closing Jimmy K. The pride of his home state returned to the roar of the crowd after making amends for his derby loss and headed on to the test of the champion on a cold and wet day in New York. There, he again took part in a stretch-long battle with his Preakness foe and again prevailed by about the same margin. In addition to his claiming two-thirds of the Triple Crown, his three-year-old season included wins in such races as the Withers, the Dwyer, the Arlington Classic, as you can see here, and the prestigious Traverse Stakes, as seen here. While obviously being Maryland's famous son, he was perhaps no more loved anywhere in the racing world than up at Saratoga, where he'd raced many times and became the darling of the fans and the media. The media sure did love this great, good-looking cult, and many considered him to be the real first thoroughbred TV star, with TV Guide calling him an icon of his era, and even Time Magazine putting him on the cover of their May 31st issue. He easily won both Horse of the Year and Three-Year-Old of the Year honors in 1953 after that stellar season, but his sights were set on something much greater in 1954. After winning three races to begin the 1954 season, including the prestigious Metropolitan Handicap, he was getting ready to ship over to France in preparation to take on the best of Europe in the Prix de Arc de Triomphe. Then a nagging foot injury forced his early retirement before being able to make that trip. As a stallion, he has been considered to be one of the great ones, siring many great stakes runners and even being a top sire of sires and top broodmare sire. Some of his famous progeny include Natalma, who was the dam of Northern Dancer, Kawhi King, who won the 1966 Derby and Preakness, and perhaps one of his most famous sons was Reza Native who sired the likes of Alidar, Majestic Prince, and Mr. Prospector. Raisa Native was the sire of Exclusive Native, who sired Triple Crown winner Affirmed and one of only three fillies to ever win the derby, Genuine Risk. So while the Grey Ghost may not have gotten his own derby, he certainly made up for it in future generations. 
Native Dancer was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1963, and still today is considered one of the best of all time. In the Blood Horses ranking of the top thoroughbreds of the 20th century, he comes in seventh, and in the Associated Press's listing of the same horses, he is all the way up and tied for third with the amazing citation, coming in behind only the true immortals of the sport, Man of War and Secretariat. Native Dancer died in 1967 after having surgery to remove a mass on the wall of his small intestine. He is buried at the famous farm in Maryland started by Mr. Vanderbilt all those years ago, and that farm is still producing great runners to this day.